And if you want to sound really local, say Bedish. Assalamu alaikum guys. Today I am filming from my classroom. I'm taking Arabic um, three times a week and I've got a really long break and I've got nothing to do. So I thought that I would do this video that I've been thinking about for a while. So these are the six or seven um, most useful phrases um, when you're first coming to Jordan. Learn them in your first week and things will get a lot easier for you and you'll be able to communicate a little bit. So in Arabic, you've got common expressions and phrases and there is a response for them, like a known response for those phrases. So for example, the first two are greetings. You've got assalamu alaikum, means like peace be upon you. And you respond with wa alaikum assalam and on you peace. Um, and then the next one you've got marhaba or marhaban this means like hello and the response is ahlain ahlain so you don't say marhaba marhaba you say marhaba ahlain the next one is how are you kifik if you're speaking to a woman and kifak if you're speaking to a man and the response is um you know you there's a whole range of responses i hope to god that i caught me jumping out of my friggin skin when someone walked back in the room i'll finish this later okay i just got home where did we get up to we got up to kifik and kifak and a really good response for that is alhamdulillah it's just a really easy response it's an easy word that you're going to come across many times um and i feel like it's just a very nice it's a nice response and that just means thanks to god like i can't complain nothing's you know i've got nothing to complain about the next one is beddi means i want beddi and you can say ma beddi, I don't. So this is handy if you just, you can point to things. Beddi and point to whatever you want. Or ma beddi, I don't want. Very useful thing to know. Yeah. And if you want to sound really local, say beddish. The next ones are shu and aish. It means the same thing, it means what. So you can hear sometimes shu beddik. Again, beddik, beddi is I want, beddik is you want for a female and beddak for a male so if you hear shu beddik or esh beddik it means what do you want also there's kif which means how like i said kifik is how are you you can also say kif to mean how and why is lesh so you've got shu or esh for what you've got kif for how and lesh for why so i think that those are like probably the most common things that you're going to come across most useful words just for your daily life in the very beginning um and then there's also a bonus one if you're a girl it's shorta shorta and shorta means police if you are being harassed say shorta if your taxi driver is being difficult shorta and you can just throw that out there and usually it's quite effective to resolve things quickly. If you want more vocabulary like bundles like this, I was thinking I could do a vocabulary set for taking a taxi, vocabulary set for um, going to the shops, buying something, uh, vocabulary set for if you've got a, like maybe if you've got a visit or something. But let me know if that's useful and I'll do some more of this stuff specifically in Jordanian Arabic and it will be very very base. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Let me know what you think and say bye bye. Ma salami. Ma salami. <laughs>